What's up guys, Fusions here. Today, we're taking a look at this Bakugan Evolutions Chaos Pegatrix. So, let's get started guys. So today we're gonna take a look at another one of these core Bakugan single packs. Here we have this Chaos Pegatrix. But before we get started with this Bakugan, we gotta open up a Bakugan booster pack. Today we have a Bakugan Shields of Astoria booster pack. These are basically the only packs I have right now. So yeah, we're just gonna be opening up lots of Shields of Astoria. Let's open this one up. And I still need five cards from the set. So hopefully I can pull one of those five that I don't have. So let's see what we got. We got Golden Wall, Fusion War Charge, Bright Flame, Burn Cutter, Weapons of Darkest, Web Launcher, Diffusion Blast, Hyper Maxathon. That's a pretty cool card. We got, ooh, we got a Bakugan Elite, Callaway Storm Fusion Brawler. Nice. I was not expecting a Bakugan Elite. Wow. Okay. So that's really, really good. Bakugan Elites are amazing. And this one is definitely amazing. Nice. Bakugan Elite. And then for the Hex, we have, ooh, look at that, Diamond Rairazu. I wish we actually had the Bakugan itself because Rairazu is a cool Bakugan. I, I like that one. I wish we had the Diamond. I don't think it's out. I don't think it was ever released. And if it is, or if it will be, uh, I, I'm going to get it for sure. And then for the Epic Character card, we have Dragonoid and Auxilator Ultra. Pretty cool Bakugan. If you fuse it by paying that big amount right there, eight energy, you get this fused Bakugan here. Pretty cool. That booster pack was actually pretty awesome. We did get a Bakugan Elite. But now let's take a look at this Chaos Pegatrix. So here is this core Pegatrix. Let's take a look at the back of the box so you guys can see a little preview. There it is. We got a character card, gate card, and two Baku cores. Very, very simple. Let's open this up and let's get started. Let's take a look at these uh, this Pegatrix. And let's see uh, if it's a strong one. Also, the Chaos colors for Evolutions for the core Bakugan, they look kind of simple, but we'll, we'll see. We'll take a look at it um, up close. First, let's see what's inside this bag. Let's see what kind of co cores it comes with. And uh, let's see the stats as well. First, the cores. Here they are. We got two cores. We got a Helix first, plus 600B, minus three damage. Probably one of the best Helix. This one is used a lot, so it's a good one. And then we've got, ooh, pretty good core lineup, a Helix and a Flame Fist. And this is one of the best Flame Fist, plus 250B, plus three damage. So that's, I like that core lineup. It's pretty good. Okay, we also do have a list. I'm gonna show you, like always. It's the same list that we've been seeing, but I gotta show you guys, just in case if any of you guys miss uh, the list here. You guys can pause and take a look at the Bakugan. Most of these are, basically released some of them are still not but they're getting there they're getting there they're almost out we have a gate card first we're taking a look at that we got a that's a fenica i'm pretty sure gate card number 33 in this set in year four pretty cool i do have this one though and then the stats for this pegatrix let's take a look at them chaos pegatrix we got a flame fist and a helix 900 b power one damage now it does have this really awesome ability. If you land on that flame fist, you get a, the minus ability, which is like um, you take away your opponent's uh, core and then you get to place it back onto the field. So that's actually really nice because you can leave your opponent's Bakugan with no core at all. If they only grab one, you take it away. So that's awesome. And then also you're going to be a 900 right away. And then plus whatever the flame fist gives you. Let's say you land on this one. You would be at 1150 with four damage and leaving your opponent with no core. This looks like it can be really strong, especially against Bakugan that rely on, on cores. Yeah, taking away their core is very, very strong. So I'm liking this one a lot. Yeah. Just, I mean, it's just a core Chaos Pegatrix, but it's it's really strong. But now let's take a look at the Bakugan itself. And here is this Chaos Pegatrix. Like I mentioned earlier, the Chaos colors and evolutions for core Bakugan looks pretty simple. It's mostly white because it's a Chaos. Uh, we do have some silver as well, which is the cool part about it. Um, the silver has a lot um, to do with the Chaos colors because it has a lot of details with silver on it as you can see on the wings here 
on this Pegatrix. And then we also do have some details on the legs there as well. Kind of looks like wind or like clouds, which look pretty cool. I mean, it's extra details. And then it's all with silver. We also do have this other color here, which is like a like a green. It's more like a greenish color. Um, yeah, so and it also has some details. So the other two colors besides the white just gives it more detail. So it's kind of cool. It looks simple, like the house colors look simple, but they're pretty nice. I think they go well together. And uh, the only thing that's kind of weird is the horn here. It's like a yellowish and the eyes as well. So that kind of throws me off a little bit, but the rest of the Bakugan looks very nice. I think it all goes together. All these colors really do go together. And I like the Pegatrix design. I think uh, it's a really nice design for a core Pegatrix. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Now let's close this Bakugan. So first we're gonna start with the back part here. So we're gonna push the little tail in and then both of the wings down. Make sure you hold these parts together like that with one hand. And then in the front part, we're gonna push both of the legs back and then push the body together like that, kind of locking everything together. There we go. And then we could just push the head in and that is how you close this Chaos Pegatrix. Very, very simple to close. Just make sure you follow the steps. Now let's roll it onto this core and let's see it open up. Let's see it in action. Three, two, one, brawl. And there is Chaos Pegatrix. I think it looks like a pretty cool Bakugan. What do you guys think? So that's it for this opening of this Chaos Pegatrix Bakugan. First of all, the Bakugan itself, the design, I think it looks pretty nice. I like the details with the silver, with the greenish color, um, just how it looks, it looks nice. The stats, now they're pretty good. First of all, the cores here, both of them are pretty nice. We got a Helix and a Flame Fist, so that's a pretty nice core lineup. We got 900 B power for base, and then we do have that really awesome ability uh, that takes away your opponent's core. So that could be super, super strong. I think this is probably one of the strongest Chaos Bakugan right now. So that's that's my opinion. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Bakugan content. I got lots of new stuff that I got. I actually got the new Cubbles as well. I know you guys love Cubbles. So stay tuned for those videos. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace out.